Hi, I'm Lynn Goldman, editor and publisher of Bucks County Taste, and this is the Bucks Food Calendar for the week of November 15, 2013. Yes, Thanksgiving is right around the corner in barely two weeks. Don't want to cook? See our post on Going Out for Thanksgiving in Bucks, 2013 edition. There's lots of interesting food stuff going on in Bucks County this week. Here are my picks. On Tuesday nights, Bell's Tavern is starting, Bell's in Lambertville, uh, an all-you-can-eat spaghetti night. Ten bucks will get you spaghetti with marinara or meat sauce, salad, and garlic bread. Bell's is really well known for their good Italian food, so it's a great deal. On Monday night, Brian Held, who is the chef and owner of Brian's in Lambertville, is holding a special dinner, an homage to Charlie Trotter, the celebrity chef, who passed away on November 5th. It's an eight-course prefix menu for $85 per person, and it looks very good. Um, this November, this month, is actually the National Homelessness Awareness Month. You can contribute by visiting an Applebee's, any of the Applebee's in Bucks County, this Tuesday for a special event called Dining to Make a Difference. For more details, see our calendar and stop by to donate. On the eating healthier front, there are two interesting events coming up this weekend. Tomorrow, Saturday, stop by Organon's Natural Market in the morning and meet holistic nutritionist Katie Vanetchek. She's going to share some strategies and ideas for getting your kids to eat healthier. Should be interesting. 80% of the antibiotics used in this country are actually used prophylactically on livestock. This goes into the meats that we eat. If this concerns you, you might be interested in attending a town hall forum at Central Bucks West on Tuesday evening. It's called Healthier Farms, Healthier Families. You can learn some more and have your voice heard. If you like firehouse breakfasts and church suppers, you've got a lot to choose from this weekend. On Saturday, the Evangelical Lutheran Church up in Spitterstown is going to have their pork and sauerkraut dinner. And the Stockton Firehouse is putting on a pasta dinner, also on Saturday. On Sunday, stop by the Perkesy Firehouse for breakfast or the firehouse up in Regalsville. Finally, on a sad note, I'd like to take a moment to say goodbye to Fred Slack who passed away on October 30th. Fred and his wife Evelyn farmed their property in Forest Grove for over 60 years. Really well known for their tomatoes and corn and their pumpkins this time of year. In fact, if you've eaten a really popular dish at the Pineville Tavern called Freddy's Tomatoes, then you've eaten Fred's hard work. I wrote an article about Fred and Evelyn a few years ago called The Tomato Triangle, so if you're interested in learning more about this old Bucks farming family, take a look at it. Thanks, Fred, and rest in peace. That's it for this week. If you want to see even more events, see our full calendar on the website. Have a warm and lovely weekend. Take care.